and welcome to your go market update for today tuesday the 4th of october 2022 mike smith senior analyst at go markets and it is of course rba day today uh, but let's have a look at what's come across the news right now u.s equities start the month strongly with a broad-based move higher as u.s bond yields continue to drift downwards we saw all sectors doing very well last night and that appears to be the case with the asx today which is up over two percent pre that rba decision u.s futures are also slightly higher in asian trading and all asian indices are trading to the upside following that strong u.s lead likewise with the european equity futures they're pointing to a higher up in this afternoon and yes we are seeing the u.s dollar index dropping again on the back of that bond yield movement it is slightly lower again not only overnight, but in this morning's trading too. And consequently, gold has popped higher and really quite significantly and back towards that 1700 level, which remember was a key level not so long ago. Oil is edging higher as it was yesterday on the back of an expectation of reduced oil production by OPEC+. Plus. And copper has also moved slightly higher, trading above that 340 key resistance today. And the VIX has pulled down a little bit uh, below the 30 level. Bitcoin hasn't moved much, but it is towards the top of the range, edging towards that 20,000. And if we look at the economic data, of course, it is jobs week. So we get the ADP report out of the US on Wednesday, weekly jobs Thursday, non-farm payrolls Friday. Today, of course, is the RBA, but also we've got Euro PPI out this afternoon. Apart from that, a fairly quiet day. So it may be a technically driven market to see if there's any follow through on that relief rally from last night. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts of interest. And on the FX front, we are looking at the Canadian dollar yen. We think that there may be a potential move here. If we look at this 106.18 level, as you can see on the daily chart, this has been resistance for really the best part of eight trading days. If we look on the hourly chart, you can see it pushing hard against that level again. And should we breach that, I think there's a fairly significant movement up around about 60 pips up towards 106.80. So that's one to keep an eye on on the FX front. Of course, there's bound to be significant movement in the Aussie subsequent to that RBA decision as well. On the ASX, we're looking at Sunfire Resources. You can see we tested that 358 support, which was last hit back in July throughout the last week and a half. You can see today we're pushing hard against this 382 level. We think if there's a breach of that, we could see some more buying into this, this stock has been fairly well battered over the last three weeks so there's plenty of upside here to be gained and in the medium term copper still looks in a reasonable place as long as we can see some demand continue so sunfire might be worth keeping an eye on consequently trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now